How's it going, Wilder Spoopies? My name is Eric Van Wilderman, and welcome to a game called Clandestinity of LC. So this is a new RPG horror game that just got released on Steam just a little while ago, not too long ago, and I'm really excited to play it. It looks like there's some really cool gameplay elements, like you can shoot, the story looks cool, has some Silent Hill-inspired moments, apparently, and that's just a recipe for greatness, so we're just gonna get started. I am pretty amped for this, because it's a game that was sold on Steam and it looks like an RPG horror game that's kinda trying to take it to the next level, which I kinda dig. How long has he been sleeping? I'm not sure. Will he ever wake up? At this point I'm not sure if he would even want to, my dear. Is he a sad person? Very sad. That's why I need to help him. Is he pleasant? He used to be, long, long ago. I need to remind him of who he was. Oh, and then he's in a pool of his own vomit, that's great. Cause apparently he's like a little bit of an alcoholic, and the story synopsis said that we wake up and our wife is missing. Ugh. I don't wanna get up. I'm gonna make him totally sound like a drunk loser, like Bleh, I'm an alcoholic. Bleh. She's going to be pissed at me again. No, you're gonna get thrust into a world of horror. I'll clean it up later. That's lazy, that's like your own vomit. You gotta clean that shit up right away. It's gonna stain the carpet. You can interact with objects by pressing A. But it's not really A, because I'm using a PlayStation controller. Okay. He walks a little bit slow, I'm a little bit worried. Jesus, I look awful right now. I need to quit drinking. Yeah, you certainly do. Can I interact with- oh, I see, there's a little exclamation mark above the things I can interact with. I feel dirty and grimy. Still, now is not the time for a bath. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, so now is a perfect time for a bath because you just woke up in your own vomit, mister. I don't need to use that right now. Really? If I was drinking, I wake up and I gotta pee right away! Okay, do whatever you want, Hayden's apartment. Why the hell is it so dark? Maybe the power is out. I should go find my flashlight. It's probably in the storage room. What? Okay, wow, really? Okay, let's get this badombadoos. I found my flashlight. I just need to find Elsie. Need to find my wife. What did you do to your wife? Okay, Elsie. Okay, good. I can turn it on and off. That's cool. Just some rations. Hey, take those rations, okay? Rations are gonna heal you when you get a cut in your arm because game logic. Bags of assorted rices and pastas. Little boxes filled with random things. Or just for storage, really. Okay, I, hey, can I take the open flame? I like that. I can throw that at things that are trying to attack me. I don't need that right now. Oh, fine! Why Why don't you need anything? You take it, you're gonna need that key eventually. Consuming even more alcohol? It's probably a bad idea. What? That's... you're not a true alcoholic. Come on, get with the program, get better. A radio. This is like Silent Hill, oh no! Doesn't sound like the radio is working. Oh, the ads, obviously. I don't need that right now. Yeah, pfft. You know, you drink too much if Elsie's sleeping with a gun beside her bed. That's probably your gun anyways, but still, she needs it for protection. Okay, Elsie, where'd you go? Elsie, wifey, I'm hungry and I'm hungover. I'm sorry, I put the food on the table, okay? I bet she works, actually. She probably works and I just sit at home and get drunk all day. Can't believe Elsie hasn't dumped us yet. Elsie, you should probably dump us. It's just my recommendation to you. Oh, I can go through there. Ooh, that's interesting. There's no address to me. Hayden, I have chosen to live with my sister for a while. She has such a nice homestead and her husband makes plenty of money. He promised my sister that he would help pay for my therapy sessions, medicines and treatments. With my condition the way it is, I fear I may not have the support I need while living with you. You can come visit me if you would like, but please be sober when you arrive. I hate it when you are intoxicated. Please be sober for me. With love, Elsie. Okay. She wrote it with a typewriter too. I have to go find Elsie. I don't go anywhere without my revolver, though. I'll quickly grab it from my bedroom. You got issues, dude. Seriously, you don't even know there's anything crazy going on yet, but you're just like, can't go anywhere without my revolver. Gotta conceal that handgun so I can shoot some people, get them out of my fucking way while I'm on the subway. Not really in the mood to eat. Hello, Chuck. Oh, it's Chuck. Chuck, is that a reference to Lone Survivor? I forget. I think our plan's name was Chuck and Lone Survivor, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I got my Nagantim 1895. Six uh, Nagant bullets already inside. I think I remember where his sister lives. I just need to grab my car keys and I'll be off. We're probably at the front door. If you just woke up in your own vomit, you're probably still half drunk. You're still half drunk. You got a gun. This isn't a good idea, okay? Press B to open the menu. Whatever B is, there's B. Okay, items, yep. Yeah. Options, da booms, da bombs. 
Okay, I wonder where I can go save my game. I wonder if I even need to save my game or it just automatically does it. I doubt it. Okay, let's get the keys. Let's drive out of here. Got the car key. Yep. It's time to go find Elsie. Oh, we're gonna go find her, all right. Be like, just start waving the gun around mid-air. Be like, Elsie! I'm still drunk. I love you, girl. Elsie! You got mental problems and I'm waving a gun in your face. Why? Why would I do that? Okay, good. Let's drive off. I got a bad feeling about this. Sometime later. What the hell was that? What the hell indeed? You just hit someone. Or something. Some it. You done fucked up. Shit. Battery must be dead. Yep. It's smoking. You're so stupid, cars don't smoke. They can't consume cigarettes. <laughs> I'm an adult. Sorry, that's just a threw it on the ground reference. Maybe I could take it to Bernie's garage. He's always helped me with car problems. Looks like I'll be pushing the car there though. Oh wow, we're gonna be pushing the car for a long way. Bernie's garage. All right, I should go talk to Bernie, but he's not gonna be there. Press left shoulder button, toggle sprint on. Oh, that's cool, you can sprint though. Oh wait, ooh. It takes a little while to change directions though, like I'm like, Ugh, and then I turn, which I think is put there on purpose just so I will probably lose to some monsters, right? You can't be too agile. Looks like the garbage hasn't been taken out in weeks. This place feels very abandoned. What's going on? I'm probably... The window has bullet holes in it. Holy... What happened? Like, I know this is obviously gonna become one of those horror games where, like, no one's around and we gotta find out what's wrong. There's gonna be monsters and shit, probably. The crank is rusted to shit. There's no way we'll ever turn properly. But, like, why? I, I was just... I was just drunk. Was I asleep that long? Is somebody sleeping back here? It's awfully disgusting. Did the apocalypse happen while I was drinking? Oh, no. Okay, maybe I should go around to the other side of the fence. Kick in the door. No, there's blood on the door. Oh, that's all I had to do was try to knock on the door. I'm so stupid. Hey, Bernie, you in there? It's Hayden. Bernie, I'm having problems with my car. Looks like I'm on my own. You probably have some tools inside I can borrow. Yeah, it's great, but we gotta, we gotta, oh, never mind. I, sure, let's just stomp right in. Stompy doodle whamby boo. What the hell? What the fuck? That's blood. No, it's just tomato juice he was drinking. Tomato juice at lunch. Okay. I need to get these tools and get the hell out of here. Let's get those tools. Ugh. Even if these were the right tools. I don't want to touch them. Why? Even if they were the right tools? Why? Scissors aren't going to help. You never know. Scissors could help you. Just a pile of trash. Scissors could help you a lot. I think I could fit in this hole. That's a bad idea. Looks like it goes into the bathroom. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's crawl through the hole of the bathroom. What could possibly go wrong in this situation? Nothing. You gotta take a pee at- after all that drinking, you probably gotta pee. Maybe you peed on the way here. Not in the car. You probably pulled over or something. Here are the tools. Why are in the bathroom? I could probably use these tools. Haha, <laughs> you're a tool. <laughs> What? What? Where am I? Sprint. I, I feel like we should turn back around and run away. But I feel like that wouldn't progress the story very far. So let's just keep on going. Hayden, you got some balls, man. You might be an alcoholic. But you got some alcoholic balls. Okay. Oh, jeez, La Bamba de Bees! What the hell? Was that Elsie? What? And... Neely plays soap dish and hand towel. Where am I then? Oh my god, there's like another world. I was like in another dimension. That's crazy. That is like Silent Hills very much. Hey, Hayden. You were in there for a while. Are you alright? Bernie. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, the good news is I fixed your car. Your accelerator pump must have fallen off somehow. She's all good to drive though. You can pay me later. I know Elsie's treatments are expensive. Thanks for the help, Bernie. What? Elsie's treatment? Oh, Elsie's treatments because Elsie- Yeah, I was gonna say Elsie's treatments. Like, is Elsie treating us? Is that gonna be the twist? No, Elsie has her own psychological issues, that's why. It's not an issue. See you around, Hayden. Okay. 
I'm out of here. And it's just oil. It's, it's oil. It's not blood. But we were in some other world. We were in some other dimension. The nightmare world. What is the cause of that? The tools I got from the bathroom are gone. Was I just drunk the whole time? Dreaming? Maybe I came to Bernie's and got drunk in his bathroom. I need to stay focused. I've got a long drive ahead of me. It's look quite a ways from Waterford. Jeez, yeah, what did happen there? Hayden, you gotta check yourself. No, I wanted to go up the road and see what was there, actually. I automatically went in, though. <sighs> Damn you, game. I haven't had to use this gun yet, though. That's a good thing. Cunningham home. What do the Cunninghams want with me? Oh, this is where Elsie is, isn't she? Okay. This brings back memories. This is one of the most expensive properties in Waterford. It's a miracle that Ralph has been successful and wealthy. He was always one to share his wealth with family and friends, even to Helen's dismay. There's no doubt that this household is better for Elsie than my small apartment. I should check to see if she is doing fine. That's good. I hope you washed out that alcohol breath, though. Mailbox is empty. I'm glad we checked the mailbox. I kind of feel guilty for doing that. Like, <laughs> hey, good old buddy, old pal. I just checked your mailbox. Is that creepy? I'm downstairs. Well, this it's this is creepy. There's no lights. The home is just as I remember it. Seems less lively with nobody in it, though. I should see if Ralph, Helen, or Elsie are here. Oh yeah, they might not be home. That that makes sense then. Why don't we play the piano? Da ding 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 da ding 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 ding. ding. An assortment of books, none particularly helpful for my situation. Why not? Let's sit down and read books. I love reading books in the middle of horrific moments. It's like RPG horror in a nutshell. Like, oh my god, there's all this intense shit going on. I'm gonna sit down and read a book. Anybody home? Where the hell is everybody? Where? The plot thickens. But I mean, whatever. Maybe they're just out. Maybe they went out for soup and sandwiches, okay? I don't know. Let's just climb up to the attic. Maybe they're all hiding from you. Like, oh my god, the alcoholic's here. Get away from him. I found the Cunningham home key. Odd place to put a key. Hmm. There's a bullet here as well. I'm not gonna say that the whole thing. The Nagant 7.5210 middle air bullet. Finally. A stroke of good luck. My revolver is full now. A couple bags of flour. Empty. What about here? Drugs? Sorted bedrolls and blankets. Oh, cl <laughs> close enough. Okay, wow. The plot thickens. Where are they? Journey to find my wife in my alcoholic stupor. Interesting. How do I get in there? Oh, yeah, it looks like I shouldn't be able to go through there, but I can. But you can tell with the flashlight to see where you can and cannot go through, which is pretty cool. Alcohol! Why must the world continue to tempt me? I don't particularly enjoy being an alcoholic. Yeah, well, I don't think anyone enjoys being addicted. It's just they do it because that's their way of coping with life. Well, that's how it starts anyways. And then they get, like, physically addicted and then they just gotta keep on doing it. Okay, I'm in the backyard. Why don't we take this axe? I'm more of a melee guy myself. Their backyard looks as if it has not been maintained in quite some time. Well, wh what the hell? That's because we're in the nightmare world, that's why. Let's go down the well and meet a black-haired girl with hair covering her eyes. And she's like, ah, and she'll come out of our TV. And eat us. And I don't think she eats us. I think she just kills us. It's kind of <laughs> I can just imagine the girl from the ring being like, I'm gonna eat you now. <laughs> mm. Cellar's the only place I haven't looked for them. I don't know why they would be down here, but it's worth a shot. Maybe it's because they want to be alcoholics just like you. They're practicing. Hey, turn your flashlight. No, this is a bad time for the batteries to run out. We're in a cellar. This is bad. What a time for my flashlight's batteries to run out. I can't see a thing in here. Oh. Oh, I see other nightmare world thing that we're in. You are really trying to tempt me, aren't you? For me? Nobody else is here. Oh, no! We shouldn't have gotten down here! I can use a drink after all the shit I've been through today. They probably won't be coming home for a while anyhow. Oh, God, no, you idiot! She said not to come here drunk. She said not to come here drunk. And yet here we are drinking in the place we're not supposed to come to drunk. Hayden, oh, <laughs> you just puked all over yourself again. Good job. Again with the vomiting. Yeah, you're, oh my god. You idiot. Oh, fuck. What was that noise? Oh, shh. What the fuck is that? Press the right shoulder to draw Hayden's revolver. Right trigger will fire the revolver. Hiya! Oh, oh, and, ah. 
Oh, why am I? Oh, I see. I'm. Oh my god. Oops. Uh, you know, it was telling me with the Xbox controls because it thinks this PlayStation 4 is an Xbox controller, and I was like, okay, I gotta draw it, and then I draw it and press the draw button again. Oh my god. Bam! Oh! Wow, right in the kisser. And it. That's, that monster thing looks so sad when it's down. It's like, oh, oh, you killed me. Oh. Holy shit. I need to get out of here right now. Press X to reload the revolver. Okay, which means square in PlayStation lingo. Okay, let's put that away. I don't think we need it. Is that dynamite? Let's take the- no, it's probably just bottles of stuff. Okay. Okay, then. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, like, maybe we're just really drunk and tripping out. And that monster was, like, someone we knew. Maybe we just killed a human or something and we're doing this all while we're drunk. Okay, let's take these bullets. I got the blah 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 and the gun bullets all for me. All for me, yeah. Okay, I got a lot of bullets. That's pretty nice. Oh, and a, and a med kit. It's a first aid kit. Not feeling that bad. Maybe I should save it for later. That's good. I don't think it's going to help your alcoholism, though. Use number one key to use the med kit from the quick slot when needed. You can also use items from the inventory menu. I'll probably just bring up the inventory. It's probably the easiest. I don't even know what the one button is. I don't have a keyboard for that. The door is right there. I should probably conserve my ammo. Maybe it would be best to just run. If I keep its back to me, it may not even see me. If I run too fast, it will probably hear me. I should try to take it slow. Okay, so don't sprint. I forget, do I have sprint activated right now? I do. Oh my god, but it's dark. It's, it's really hard to see. Never mind, it's not that hard to see. Well, that was easy. That monster was so easy, although it was just- it's just tutorial stuff, it's trying to teach me how to play. The monster's just like, This wall looks beautiful! Oh my god, I love corners! And I'm just like, yeah, thank god for that. Alright, I've had enough of this. Who's fucking with me? God is. That's who. Bottle is labeled Drowsapan. Okay. I'm glad you just got drunk and vomited in the cellar of the place you weren't supposed to get drunk at. How did I get here? What the hell? I'm back in the Cunningham's attic. 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 <laughs> it's different though. It's a typewriter. I use it to write down my progress. Oh yeah, baby. Resident Evil reference. Oh yeah. I love this autosave thing though. Autosave is so nice. What a convenient thing to have in an RPG horror game. Doesn't seem to be anything else to do in here. Time to leave. Okay. Because, I mean, in most RPG horror games, the, the smaller ones, you really gotta save a lot. So I can use the drowsapan from the inventory return to the cunning attic. Drowsapan has unlimited uses. Leaving the attic returns you to where you use the drowsapan. Oh, that's really cool! So I can go back there and save in the attic and- Oh, that's amazing. And has unlimited uses. <laughs> You're so nice to me, game. You are so nice to me. Well, you know what? I did just save the game. I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm kind of making the first one a little short. I'll make the next one a lot longer, though. Now, I hope you're enjoying. I want to see um, if you guys really like this, because if you guys do, I'm going to continue with it. I mean, it seems really interesting. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Probably going to continue with it regardless, actually. I don't even know why I said that. But yeah, um, this looks damn cool. Very well uh, done RPG horror game. And the story looks really interesting, right? And it's obviously taken some references from like Resident Evil, Silent Hill and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's just... Looks pretty damn awesome. So I really hope you enjoyed too. If you did like this video, remember to hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, guys... Peace.